Hi guys, in this video I will be talking about performance nerves and how you can dramatically reduce the physical symptoms that can sometimes affect your playing. Now everyone experiences nerves, anxiety or stage fright differently but here are some of the most common physical symptoms. Sweaty hands, increased heart rate, dry mouth, butterflies, shaky hands, legs and arms, irrational thoughts, insomnia, mind blanks, nervous movement, nail biting, even tears. If you suffer from any of these symptoms, don't worry, we all experience at least one or more of these before and during performances, so it's perfectly normal. How do we reduce these symptoms? Tip number one, start your preparation as early as possible. Know your pieces inside out and make sure you're not still learning sections of your pieces a week before you're due to perform them. Plan your performance. What are you going to wear? How will you introduce your pieces? What order will you play them in? Have you planned those page turns? You need to fully plan out every last detail until you're happy with how it feels. Make sure your flute is serviced. You want to make sure that you sound your best. So if your flute needs a service, book it in as early as possible. Some waiting times can be very long, so you don't want the added pressure of a last minute service or not being able to get one at all. Get practicing with your accompanist early. The more rehearsals you can do together, the better. Program notes. If you need to produce program notes for your performance, don't leave these until the last minute. Get all your research and planning done nice and early so you can get these written, checked and completed with lots of time to spare. You don't want to be rushing through trying to write program notes in the run-up to your performance. It will only add to those nerves. Tip number two. Keep fit and well in the run-up to your performance. Make sure that you get plenty of fresh air and regularly exercise, eat healthily and avoid too much caffeine and alcohol. Get plenty of sleep. Your body needs to rest in order to process all the information that you're giving it to learn. Missing out on sleep will greatly affect your concentration and ability to retain information. Avoid coughs and colds as best you can in the two weeks before your performance. Now, this is certainly easier said than done, but if you're eating healthily and getting plenty of sleep, you should be able to fight off any unwanted bugs more easily if you're unlucky enough to catch one. If you're really concerned that this will really hinder your performance, go and speak to a pharmacist for some more advice. Tip number three, practice being nervous. We all know the nerves are inevitable, so let's practice for them. Try running up and down stairs a few times before you start your practice to get your heart rate up and experience feeling a bit breathless. This will help you prepare to, for how you might feel and what it does to your playing on the day. You can then work on controlling the sound, your breathing and your intonation. Play in front of friends and family. This is a great way to experience how you will feel when stood in front of an audience. The more you experience this, the more confident you will feel. Tip number four, tackle the symptoms head on. To help with your increased heart rate and shallow breathing, try rooting your feet firmly on the floor, keep your shoulders relaxed and take a long, slow, deep breath in, hold and slowly release. Repeat this regularly and try picturing a calm, relaxing scene such as flowing water or a beautiful golden meadow. Laughter. Sometimes laughter can be perfect for releasing tension and reducing nerves. It releases endorphins which can actually help lower the heart rate. Maybe bring a friend along with you to come and sit backstage, one who will make you laugh and help break the tension. To help combat a dry mouth, take regular small sips of water too much and you might have a sudden need for the bathroom mid-performance which would not be good so just stick to small sips. If you get a very sudden dry mouth and throat part way through your performance itself you could always wait for an appropriate gap, clamp your tongue gently in between your back teeth on either side and just gently though this can produce saliva which can help lubricate the mouth just enough to stop you feeling like you might need to cough. If you're prone to getting a dry mouth regularly, it might be worth considering leaving a glass of water on the stage. You could then take a few sips in between pieces if you're in real desperate need. If you experience sweaty hands before performing, which many people often do, 
here are a few things that you can do to help. Keep your body temperature regulated beforehand. Keep the room well ventilated and expect that you will feel warmer than normal due to the nerves. Avoid wearing clothing that is too thick and will make you overheat. Wash your hands regularly with nice cool water and regularly wipe thoroughly with a towel and make sure you bring one with you. Keep that towel with you until you enter the stage so you can have a quick wipe last minute just before going on stage. Shaking and nervous movement. Again, the breathing ex exercise can really help slow down nervous movement. A nice gentle walk can also be really beneficial and help to get rid of any excess nervous energy. Try and avoid the caffeine if possible as this will only add to that nervous energy and possibly make the shaking worse. If you're having trouble with sleeping, try these tips to help you get into a good healthy sleeping pattern. Try to get yourself into a routine as early as possible so it becomes normal. Avoid eating too late as this can make it difficult to get to sleep. Have a hot bath or shower before bed. This will then lower your body temperature once you get out, which is what you need in order to get to sleep. Keep the bedroom cool and turn off all phones, tablets, TVs and computers at least 30 minutes before bed. Sometimes though, even with a good routine, we can find ourselves having pre-performance nightmares and having restless nights. If you're leaving your preparation to the last minute, then this will definitely be the root cause for your insomnia. However, if you're well prepared, you could just be suffering from a lack of confidence. Tip number five, positive thinking. You are prepared, you've worked hard, you're feeling fit and well and you're sounding great. Everybody wants you to do well and is there to support you. You are ready. Don't let self-doubt creep in. Just focus on you and your performance and don't worry about what others are doing and try and compare yourself to them. This performance is all about you showing everyone how hard you've worked and you're enjoying playing some wonderful music on a gorgeous instrument. In every performance there will be mistakes, little blips and bits and pieces that could be better, but that gives us something to work on and shows us that we're just human. So relax, enjoy yourself, and I have every faith that you will be just brilliant. I hope this has been useful for you. Do feel free to subscribe for more videos that will hopefully help enhance your performance. All the best and happy fluting.